Hey, what's going on, y'all? So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Ziva, ZRT's face trainer. Now, I saw this on LinkedIn a couple of days ago. I absolutely love LinkedIn, by the way. It's so concentrated to the content. I actually want to see. You don't see a lot of garbage on there. But anyway, competition is always good. And when I saw this, I, I automatically thought of like face good and stuff because the quality this is pulling out is pretty insane. I mean... I, oh man, like it is, it is getting pretty scary out there, y'all. This is a CG model. This is rendered in Unreal Engine 5 at 4K 60 frames per second in real time. Now, this is not something that you can just plug and play. You For, for you to do this, you're going to have to prepare your models. And that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. So I can kind of show you how this process goes. It's not out yet, but you can request for access to get this tool or be able to use this tool in the future. So let's go check out this intro video to kind of explain things. Human faces are mission critical. The largest technology teams are all vying to answer, how do we get better faces into our games? Ones that are as compelling and captivating as everything else in the game. But the industry's stuck with results that are expensive, unscalable, and uncanny. Let's change that. The ZRT Face Trainer is an experimental online experience that lets you test Ziva's real-time face pipeline on your own characters at no cost. The underlying technology uses a rich library of 4D data and machine learning to bring any human face mesh to life. Simply pick one of your own existing face models and prepare it for training with our yeah. face preparation instructions. Then kick off the pipeline with our user-friendly access page. In roughly one hour, you'll receive a high-quality render of your custom face mesh performing a complex range of motion. Your static character has been injected with the physics and dynamics that set us apart from pixels it's on a screen. Crazy. This is a free and fast way to visualize the high-performance potential of Ziva RT on your own IP. That's just crazy. Please note, still in its infancy, the face preparation step is critical for the quality of the outputs. And it may take a bit of time, depending on your proficiency, but we have some custom files to help speed things up, and either way, it's worth the work. Maya's not dead. This exclusive offering is only available to select users as we are still navigating and testing in this leading edge arena, but we promise a wider offering is on the horizon. One with easy puppet controls, flexible animation inputs, and more. And in the meantime, we highly encourage everyone to check out the 12 demo face results on our ZRT Face Trainer webpage. These are direct outputs of our pipeline tested on 12 face scans we purchased just a few days before launching. We hope you love what you see. Good luck and happy testing. All right, so that's the video. And with that being said, what I'm curious about is what if you can inject animation into a photo scan mesh? <laughs> Can you just imagine that? That's insane, right? Now, again, the whole marking on the mesh and stuff, I'm not familiar with that yet. Obviously, they just say, okay, get your mesh in there and then mark it and then it's going to do its thing. So I haven't really seen the exact preparation and all that stuff. And here's the instructions if you want to download it. But here is some of the examples it has. I mean, obviously, this is a demo, right? So I don't know how it's going to work with actual real people trying this thing. But again, competition. Competition is really just benefits us, the end users. Because uh, like I said, I think Facegood has something similar like this, the real-time thing that they have on their YouTube channel. Uh, they have a video of that. So I'm, I'm kind of cur curious how that's going to work out with this. But man, whew, this, is, this is getting pretty crazy here. Uh, yeah, if you want to check out some of this stuff, let's click one right here. I'll make it bigger. There's some custom meshes that they kind of put the animations in. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. And then with uh, Facewear reducing a price for indies, I mean, we have all... We are going to have all the tools available for us. And it, again... It's really just the imagination, our imagination to create something with all these tools. And it's so exciting. Like, not for me, because, you know, I'm, I'm kind of older, but for my kids and their generation, they're going to grow up with all these free tools to really tell their story. And that is really what excites me the most. So you're going to have a lot of people out there with all these great ideas 
And now they have all these free tools or cheap tools for them to use to create their story. And uh, also, just a disclaimer, I'm not affiliated with these guys at all. I just saw their video on LinkedIn and obviously it's MetaHuman. So, I mean, it's it's Unreal Engine. So, you know, I had to like check it out. Uh, if you all have any questions, again, like always, I want to know your thoughts, though. Make sure you leave it in the comments below and I'll see you all later.